song right there i love that song get get to set the mood <laughs> that's mood right there all right so real quick i want to go to the top talk to you guys about uh personal responsibilities per, be, being personally responsible being personally blah, 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 being personal personally responsible i'm so hyped about the song i can't even say personally responsible like what's going on but anywho so personal responsibility and uh being introspective being introspective as opposed to external, being internally, uh, taking internal steps as opposed to external steps. And what I mean by that is this. Two months ago, I took a, uh, I took a test. It's called Continuing Ed for my license, right? To continue my, my practice, right? Uh, you know, I'm in finance. So to, 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 to be a financial advisor, you have to take uh, what's called CE, Continuing Ed, every two years or something like that. But anywho, the test is not a really a pass or fail. This is one of those tests where you take it. If you don't pass it, you have to take it over. And you have to take it. You got to keep taking it over until you pass that test. And, you know, I forgot, you know, I took my test years and years ago. So I forgot a lot of the stuff that they asked. But, so I'm taking this test and I'm, I fail it. So I have to keep taking it over. And I take it over. I fail it. I take it over again. I fail it. I take it over again. And, and then eventually I pass it and that's it. And, uh, the point I'm making to you is this. In life, God allows us to go through certain situations over and over and over and over again. I speak foremost and firstly of myself, right? Before I speak to anybody else, I speak to myself. I've gone through situations where I'm like, why do I keep going through this? Why do I keep going through this? Why do I keep... And it took some time, but I get it, right? And the point is this. The point is this. You, you and I, we are transmitters, right? Innately, we're transmitters. I'm not going to go into the... The, the, the mechanisms and the technicalities and the details, just take my word for it. We're transmitters. We're always emitting. We're always radi radiating. We're always radiating and emitting. And the energy that we radiate and emit out into the universe, what it does, it finds a corresponding uh, circumstance and brings us to it or brings it to us. Either way, it doesn't matter. Either it brings us to it or it brings it to us. It, 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 you, you, people talk about the law of attraction. That's how that's that, that falls in line with that. So the point I'm making is this. Until... The reason why I kept, right, and you, if you're under the sound of my voice, the reason why us as human beings, we, a lot of us, not all, but a lot, repeat, uh, we have this repeated behavior pattern. We have this pattern. And the reason why a lot of us uh, repeat certain things in our lives and we go through it and we, 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 we come out of it and we say, all right, good. Then we go through it again and we're like, God, why? And to ask God why is a knee jerk reaction. You're a human being. It's totally normal for you to ask God why, right? We know the cliche. Well, why not? But he, he, here's, here's what I want to say to this. The reason why we repeat these patterns, God's why? Well, if, if, if God using me right now to speak through, through my, my vessel, the reason why, right? Because we ask God why. Here's the answer. The reason why you are having these same patterns or having the same situation occurring to you over and over and over again, it's, it's very simple. 
It, here's the answer. The answer is because you have not done an internal reconfiguration of the subconscious thinking. You have not done an internal reorganization of your subconscious mind. You have not done an internal detoxifying, detoxification, uh, internal restructuring of, of, the, of the, uh, your perception, your paradigm, which is your psyche. You have not done an internal introspection. What we have done, if you're a guy and you go, to, you, you say it's her, you know, it's the woman, it's her. If you're a woman, you say it's them, it's him, it's the man, it's a, it's never any of that. All that is in our lives is a direct result of what's inside of us. I'll say that again. The circumstances that we find ourselves in, all, every activity that's in our lives is a correlation uh, or a reflection of what's inside of us. The problem is this. Most of us don't take the time to study ourselves, to understand ourselves, to date ourselves, to be with ourselves. And because we don't take the time to be with ourselves, to study ourselves, analyze, assess, and, and, and get to know a, a critical and analytical examination of self, then we are going to continue to blame the circumstance. And whether it's him, whether it's her, whether it's her, whether it's him, everything except us. And it, 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 I say that because I'm, you know, I'm coming into some some revelations and epiphany about myself that I never knew or seen in times and days of old. So, you know, you start to learn that, you know, they said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, right? So, if 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 you keep facing the same or similar trials or similar tests. It's like, well, why am I going to take this test again? I took it already. Well, it's kind of like the CE test I took two months ago. You, you haven't passed it. You went through it, but you haven't passed that test. Oh, I'm preaching right now. I just that just hit me. You went through it, the situation, but you didn't pass it. Oh, God is speaking to me right now. That's that's powerful. I'm feeling the cold bumps, the shivers right now. I went through some situations in my past. And I go through them again. And I'm like, why am I going through them again? Because you haven't passed it. And this is coming to me because of the CE test I took two months ago, my continuing ed. I went through the test. I finished it. But I did not pass it. So I had to take it again. And I went through it, answered from 1 to 20 to 20 to 40, did all the answers. The question is... And I had to take it again. Why? Because I did not pass it. So I went through it. I completed the process, but I did not pass the process. You see what I'm saying? So in life, oh, I'm preaching. I'm preaching. Good. So in life, sometimes you're going to go through a situation. You come out of the situation and you're like, thank God I made it through that. So you feel good. You're like, all right, I'm good. I bounced back. I got my life together. And then you go through it again. And you're like, wait a minute, I went through this two, three years ago. Why am I going through this again? Because you went through it, but you didn't pass it. And that's the distinction. That's the difference. You went through the test, but you did not pass the test. You completed it. You finished it, but you didn't pass it. And again, continuing ed test that I took two months ago is a, is, is a perfect analogy because this life is analogous to that test. You might have gone through a test. You might have completed a test. You might have taken the test. But did you pass the test? So sometimes we might think, we okay, we went through this. We, we got what we needed to get. We, we learned some stuff. And, you know, all of a sudden, we, we, we got this. We, no, you completed it. Don't confuse completion with passing the test. Don't confuse or conflate completing a test with passing a test. I completed my CE examination, but I didn't pass it, so I had to take it again. So you're going to have a heartbreak. You went through a breakup. You went through that. You completed that part of your life, but you will face it again because you did not pass it. What did... Here's the thing. A lot of us will say we, we, we learned some lessons, right? We got, oh gosh, yes, a whole bunch of lessons. That's great. I've learned a lot of lessons from my situations, but it's not about just the lesson that we learned. It's, did we take this, the, the test and internalize, see what we were doing and rearrange an internal instead of an external, blaming it on him. It's men are dogs and, and he cheated and men are the, well, what, what is it about you that attract cheaters? 
oh, oh uh, you know, she broke my heart and she, she, she used me. She took advantage of. What is it about me that makes her that makes you attract users? So, oh, oh, men, are, men are dogs and they're losers. You know, men are losers. Well, what is it about you that's attracting losers? You know, she used me, man. She took advantage. Of, what is it about me that's attracting users? Until we do that. Have that hard conversation, and that's a hard conversation because now you got to look in the mirror and you got to tell yourself you're a sucker. You got to tell yourself that you, you, you know uh, you, you, you don't value yourself. You don't carry. You don't. You don't set your standards high enough. You don't. You don't value. You don't know your true worth. That's a very hard thing to do. To look in the mirror and be critical of yourself. To criticize yourself is not easy to do. So. That, that's 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 yeah that, that, that's something that just you know I didn't expect to go this way I wanted to go in a different I wrote down some stuff that I wanted to go but the spirit just led me down that way and that's the thing we take the test we go through the test but did you pass the test and if you don't pass the test like my examination the CE continuing that you're gonna have to keep taking it over and over again until you pass it once you pass it it says congratulations you pass the test you can get out of here so people until you pass your test just because you made it through it it ain't over. Whatever it is you just went through and got out of, thank God you got out of it, but you're going to face it again until, because you have to pass it. You have to pass it before you can move on to the next test, but you, you won't go through it again. And, and I will say this to you before I run. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, whenever these things come, these trials, these tests, when they hit you, it hurts. It's going to hurt like hell. It's painful. Uh, it's, it's confusing. It's drain. It's energy, energy draining. It sucks your energy, and it, it's, it's confusing, and it can leave you sick. It can cause you stress. It can put you in a hospital. I mean, it's, it can be that bad, depending on the sobriety and the weight of the test and the situation. But know this. Know this. If God allows this to touch you, sometimes you don't understand this. He allowed this, but he prevented that. I'll say that again. He allowed this, but he prevented that. And in other words, your test that you're going through might hurt. But if he allowed this, he prevented that. The that could have been 10 times worse. There's certain things that you're never going to experience. God's not going to let you go through it. Because he already, in his, it's called omniscience, all-knowing. In his all-knowing uh, uh, mind, he knows you're not going to, you're going to crumble. You're going to fail. So there's some things that he protects you from. But if he allowed this, he prevents that. A little bit of this, prevention of that. More of this, less of that. Less of that, more of this. So till next time, folks, stay prayed up. Mark here. Peace. <laughs>